shaped really weirdly. Um, so you can sort of feel it's quite heavy, um, sort of dense. There's no weird things with its mass, it's all wow. consistent. Um, it's just shaped like this because I want to say something. Cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think it's one of those ones, eh? It could roll upwards. It should just stay down there. It should, like, you stay. Can stay. So you can even, it's not an illusion. Like, if you measure with your finger, this is your second, and this is, you know, half your hand. So this uh, yeah. is definitely higher. Yeah, that point What happens is it likes to roll up. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Right, we'll get to do that soon. Um, and then so this stop. doesn't really make sense on the first look, right? Because things roll down. Yeah. Um, but the idea is um, that it actually does roll down. And it, we oh. need to talk about the center of mass. So when it's sitting here, its center of mass is through here. Okay. As it rolls, the center of mass actually does go down, such that once it's here, whoop, so once it's here, it's actually lower than when it started. So that's uh, the idea, is that the, the full mass that is contained within this actually does roll down. Um, it's just because the way it's shaped and stuff that it appears to be rolling up. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's why it goes up like that. Wow. Um, yep, so with these copper cords. Um, so this will induce electricity is what we call it. So if I'm just rotating this, and shall I get one of you to rotate this for me? Uh, yeah, 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 I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. Right. So if you just rotate that, it doesn't really feel much, like much, right? You're not yeah. really getting a workout. No. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so now what we're doing is we're allowing the circuit to complete. And this okay. will create a resistance which is going towards creating this electricity. Yeah. Um, so how, how, how good does that feel? Not that good. <laughs> not very good? Someone else can uh. try. Someone else can try. So is it quite tiring? Yeah, you'll get Come on, you're quite right, tiring. Man. Yeah. How does that feel? Fine? Yeah. Yeah, it feels fine. Or oh, don't go too hard, you're like, yeah. Oh, so good. these are two different light bulbs, you're not... Yeah, so LED probably, so that one? this one, this is what he felt. A bit more rough. <laughs> yeah, more rough than that one. So the idea is that this is in, like an efficient light bulb, so it takes um, much less energy to get the same sort of effect. It's actually an LED. Um, one of the effects of LEDs is that you can't get them to be dim. They're either like on or off. So if I do this, try and make it like dim consistently. It, it, can't. it just doesn't work. And, that, and that's one of the interesting things about LEDs. Still have it, like, is they just go, or don't go. Whereas this one, you've got a lot more in between. Um, and that's because this one, um, what you've got is a filament heating up. So this is just heat going on. Whereas this one relies on a gap for things to move to. Um, again, it's a bit technical, so don't worry too much about it. Me neither. Inside and out. <laughs> really <don't. Woo. laughs> uh. Too like you're already my volunteer. Smash them together either side of the paper. Don't hit your hands. Yeah, do do a smaller. I'm worried about your hands. There you go. Keep going. Do a couple more. Now give it a smell. So smell smoke. Yeah. Yep. So what's happening is you've got a very small surface here on both of these, and when they come together, they compress everything. If you do it hard enough, it's actually vaporization. You actually just get it turning straight into sort of gas, and you can smell the smoke. So if you pass it on to someone else, want to try? Out. This is enough uranium ore to power a submarine from basically here across the world, really. So um, this is very radio radioactive, and I haven't actually... I do know what I'm doing, I promise. Here we go. So this is a Geiger counter. So we can measure... Hang on, I don't want to... we go. Um, we can measure how radioactive this is. So you can... Can you guys hear it? Yeah. yeah. So each sound it makes is a radioactive um, sort of particle coming off of this uranium. So this is um, wow. decaying and releasing these sorts of radioactive things. Now, one of the, we didn't understand radioactive material for like a long, long time. Um, so what else I've got here is a watch. Now this, this watch is quite old. Um, and what we find is it's actually quite radioactive. You guys can hear that, right? It's like yeah. kind of similar to the uranium. Oh uh, yeah. So um, the uranium is actually covered, so it would be much more radioactive than this. The reason this watch is radioactive is because it's got radium painted on it. So um, oh. people working in factories or people that were just hobbyists 
what they used to do is they used to um, painstakingly paint um, radium onto these watches in order to get them going. Sorry, not get them going, to make them look nice. Um, but they also used to suck on the nib of what they were painting with radium. Told you this story. And the people that did this died horribly. Um, I shouldn't sound so happy when I say this. It's awful. <laughs> this is yeah. before we understand what radioactive material does to you. And it really damages you. So this is a radioactive watch. Um, people used to paint their teeth with um, radioactive materials so they could go to parties and they'd go in the dark. And again, really, really not good for you, but we didn't understand that at the time. Um, so now we know these sorts of things, and we also know how to harness the energy, for example, of this time, which could power us across the world, which is quite incredible for this one year, where we consider how much oil we'd need, we'd need to you know, power a submarine to do the same sort of thing.